Once the masses were in motion, that tenuous line between demonstration and riot, between nonviolence and violence, was easily obliterated. As law enforcement officers sought to restore order, police brutality became the cry of the insurgents. Algeria was more of the same. Rallies, demonstrations, marches, and the inevitable flare of violence. The invariable charges of police brutality were hurled as efforts were made to maintain law and order. When marches and demonstrations turn into riots in any country slated for takeover, the communists are then ready to implement the final stage of their blueprint for conquest. It takes only a handful of armed opportunists, criminals and savages, to create the semblance of revolution. Only insurrection can guarantee the victory of the revolution. The purpose of insurrection must be not only the complete destruction or removal of all local authorities and the replacement by new, but also the expulsion of the landlords and the seizure of the land. Chiang Kai-shek's nationalist forces had long been fighting the communist-inspired insurrectionists of Mao Zedong when the Japanese invaded the mainland of China. With the end of World War II and the defeat of the Japanese, the United States pressured Chiang into forming a coalition government with the communists. Through a coerced truce and enforced arms embargo, the U.S. disarmed more than